everybody, it's Lon Sybin taking a look today at the iPad and iPhone to HDMI connector. This is for the iPhone 5 and the iPad 4, the ones with the lightning connector. And don't get that confused with your Thunderbolt connection. If my camera to focus in here, it's a little hard sometimes being a one person studio to get everything right, but uh, we'll do our best. So on one end, of course, you have your lightning cable and this again, iPhone 5 and iPad 4 only. And on the other side, you have an HDMI connector and an additional lightning power connector. And this is very similar uh, to the adapter that was on the old iPad, which was a with a larger connector, but it gave you the ability to pass power through. So while you were outputting video, you could also continue to output power. And some people may be wondering, well, what do you need this for if you can do AirPlay? And in fact, that's often a very good solution. In fact, I use AirPlay quite a bit to uh, stream to my computer and then uh, get my iPhone or iPad content up and recorded on a screen. However, I've been starting to do some game reviews of uh, iPhone games and stuff, and I found that sometimes the AirPlay gets a little bogged down. I was using a, a piece of software called Air Server, which is awesome. Uh, lets you stream AirPlay right to your Mac or PC, and it works really well, except the fact that games sometimes get bogged down if I've got some lousy Wi-Fi or something else going on. So I got this uh, specifically to capture games. I'm going to show you how that works with my HDMI capture device in a minute. Uh, but pretty much, whoops, if you don't toss it away, uh, what you do is you plug the uh, the bottom end into the iPhone like you would any other cable for the iPhone 5. And I'm going to switch to my other camera here. So when we plug in the HDMI, you will see, hopefully, that our iPhone will display on the screen. And that's pretty much all it does. Now, I generally capture footage using a Blackmagic Intensity Extreme. Uh, this is a Thunderbolt adapter. So you plug uh, HDMI uh, into this and then run the Thunderbolt cable to your Mac. And I believe it works with uh, Windows, too. And that's how I usually capture. So let's uh, plug in this uh, iPhone and see what we get. Um, so basically what you do is, uh, just like we did before, we just plug in uh, the iPhone here. We're going to run a pretty graphically intense game. This one's uh, Real Racing 2. And uh, it's uh, some, some of the best graphics you'll see on the iPhone. The Real Racing 3 is out also, but I don't like the in-app purchasing. So we're going to go with the one I paid for here. Um, and we'll let that load up and it just takes a second. Now what it does is uh, this game actually is built for dual displays and it's probably not the easiest thing to do to play it on uh, two displays at the same time with this cable sticking out of it. But we're just doing this to at least get a sense of the, uh, the frame rate capabilities there. So I'm going to hit the record button here and we'll do a quick race. And I'm not sure how we uh, get going on a race here. Let's just go quick race and uh, we'll give this a shot and see how this works. So we'll pick our track here and we'll wait for it to load and as you can see we get you know the full range of color and we don't have any of the uh, little glitches that you often get running with um, with airplay and what's nice here too um, here, here you can see it runs fairly smooth and it, interestingly enough the uh, it's it's running close to real time here too so it's actually um, playable what's neat on the uh, on this game in particular is that it uses uh, both displays so we have a map on our iPhone, which is controlling the uh, the game, and uh, it's displaying through the HDMI the, the graphics of the game. Now, what's uh, if you're using AirPlay, this would be the same thing, but uh, pretty much uh, you have that ability to do that, and you don't get all the uh, little AirPlay glitches that you might get with uh, with a weak Wi-Fi signal. So, um, so as you can see, it works pretty good for uh, capturing footage. And uh, we'll just pop out real quick and go into something a little bit simpler, like Chillaxian, which is what we uh, I reviewed this earlier in the week here, um, and uh, Works uh, pretty much the same way here. It looks like we're kind of stuck in this uh, landscape mode here, but um, very smooth. The colors are crisp, and we're able to kind of capture that that footage in a much better way than just using uh, using AirPlay. So uh, great little cable if you're looking to capture game footage in particular, and I think you might uh, find it a worthy investment. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.